remember when I had consistent uploads? <laughs> Me neither. In my past videos, I have largely glazed over the sexual side of the fandom. And while that might put some parents at ease, I realize I have left out a part of this fandom that is sometimes misunderstood. Now, many furries that engage in the more lewd interests that exist in this fandom often have to hide those interests because of the perceived stigma of being associated with these interests or kinks. To combat this, I decided to begin a series on these more after dark topics in collaboration with real furries who have these interests or kinks to help demystify and hopefully destigmatize these interests a little bit. Because after all, you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. So let's figure out how some do it for a series on this channel. So for today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at micro and macro. What the hell that even means? Not sure what micro macro is? Well, we went ahead and asked some members of the community what it meant so we could get a... Zelda! Really? Zelda! Stop it! Really? Right now? Right now is when we're doing this? Okay. So we asked some members of the community to give us a hand in understanding the big and small of it. So of the 44 people... Zelda! So of the 44 people that responded to this survey, 27 responded that yes, they were macros. And 17 of you weren't, and I guess kind of missed the memo that this is a macro micro video, but hey, you're still cool. Now of that number, about 10 of you said that you enjoyed being portrayed as a micro. Whereas only six of you enjoyed being a macro, and about 11 of you kind of enjoyed both. Not unlike our other videos, most of you responded that you were cis male, but there was still a pretty good portion of you that responded that you were either agendered or non-binary. And for most of you, you said it was pretty easy being a micro or a macro in the community, which doesn't really surprise me that much if I'm being honest. Of those we asked, a very, very strong majority of you responded that you were into the not safe for work side, which is totally cool. I was just kind of curious. And not surprising, most of you who responded that you were a micro or macro did say that you had art of your character, which, given how this interest kind of works, makes Zelda! Which, given this kind of interest, makes sense, as portraying yourself as a micro or macro through other means might be a little bit tricky. Now, we were interested to see where you guys kind of sat on the maws versus paws debate. Cat, I swear to God. Really? And not surprisingly, most of you said you liked all of it, so no real dividing line here. Zelda! Stop! And how it sends you have micro and you have macro. Macro meaning, like, big. You like being very, very big. Or micro meaning you like small or being portrayed as very, very small. For example, if you're very familiar with Mark Sparks and Gers, you'll typically notice that Gers is very, very big, and Mark Sparks is very, very small. In fact, we decided to have a special guest for this episode, and as you can probably guess, they like being very, very small. Yep, that's right, Mark Sparks. Here's what he had to say about his interest in this side of the community. Alrighty, so for anyone who has somehow missed your Twitch channel or YouTube channel, uh, who are you and what do you do? Hi, I'm Mark Sparks. Uh, you can find me on YouTube and Twitch as Mark Sparks, but uh, mostly I create video content and stream some games and stuff and do different things like that. Um, been doing it for probably about three and a half years now. So. Oh, nice. And you are part of the Micro Macro community, correct? Yes, um, I've been a part of the Macro Micro community for roughly about uh, nine-ish years. Uh, I've been getting artwork and, and doing a lot of different things such as story writing and uh, just trying, trying my hardest to input what I can into the Macro Micro community. Really all I'm really good at is writing. 
but uh, I try to dabble into different things. Oh, that's awesome. So I guess a couple questions that I had is, how did you first get uh, introduced or interested in the micromarket community and why? Um, so back about you know, nine years ago, um, I actually found an art piece, which was uh, an art piece of Artie, um, and I also found another art piece by Tyrrell, um, if you know who those are, and I can, I can send you the pictures later, but um, I, I found an image of like their stuff, and I thought, like, wow, that's really interesting. Nine years ago, I was about 13 or 14, and I didn't quite know like what I was really looking at until later on when I figured out, like, oh, okay, I'm interested in this more than just the perspectives. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. That's super cool. So I guess, uh, when did you start uh, getting art of yourself in that style? Um, it wasn't until much later because obviously when I'm 13 or 14, uh, I ended up not being able to afford that kind of stuff as well as I didn't want my parents to find out. So it wasn't until like I joined the army and uh, went overseas that I was able to be like, okay, I'm separated from family and people who would look at me weird for getting this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna just start commissioning what I want. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so I guess uh, one question I had is, you know, since it's something that you perceive that would, or you thought would be perceived as weird, um, I guess to certain people, have you found it like easy or hard expressing your interest in a uh, micro macro inside the community and outside? Well, inside the community, not so much. Everybody in the furry community, especially, not just the macro micro community, they're, they're very willing to like talk with me about it. And if they're interested, they're eager to know more and they're willing to like, share their ideas and and just like actually like treat it like you know what it is it's just a dumb thing that I'm attracted to whereas outside of it um, when I was in high school and even dating people who weren't in the com community um, I definitely realized that it's not exactly something that's normal within the regular community and uh, it, it was much more difficult um, because a lot of people either that I was interested in or was dating or even married to um, they didn't they didn't like it as much as uh, I had hoped um, and it, it ended up leading to some very bad interactions so yeah ah geez lots of fun right um so I guess what are some benefits you found of being in the community has the community um, you know had any positive impacts on your life or or negative i guess in either way um in all honesty like going back to the whole uh when i was in high school and stuff and, and trying to date people and then realizing like okay this is much more difficult because not everybody is open and accepting to what i enjoy in the regular community um being in the macro micro community has really helped me like figure myself out um, and the reason why I say that is, is like, you know, with me, I'm, I'm much more different than, than your common average person. I don't feel the same attractions to other people that, you know, most everyone does. Like, I, I don't really care what kind of genitalia you have or what, what, you know, you have. I'm, I'm very particular with just making sure that, you know, my fetishes are, are good. Like, that's all that, like, really my my interests are because I don't really feel any attraction to any sort of male or female genitalia and so it helped me realize who I was going into this community because you know me growing up where I'm from and trying to make relationships work when all I really care about is you know what interests please like me in the macro micro community it, it was very difficult because i kept getting into relationships thinking I, i'm attracted to this person and then figuring out very quickly i'm not and it took me a while within the macro micro community with a help from a bunch of people in that community to actually sit there and say oh well i'm actually interested in this and this is what i really enjoy and figuring out more about myself 
That's really cool. I mean, I know just from your social accounts that you are definitely a big proponent of PAWS. Um, but is there anything else about, um, I guess, the micro macro community that's maybe more specific to that community that you're a really big fan of that maybe some people wouldn't know about that you're comfortable sharing? Sure. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, pause, you know. Um, and anything that's a proponent of pause, like socks or shoes, if they're portrayed in a macro micro way, then yeah, I'm like always down for that. But also, like, there's a bunch of different stuff that I've been figuring out within the macro micro community that I am interested in. Like, um, the macro stuff I'm not as interested in, and the reason why is when death or destruction gets involved, it kind of takes away from what my interests are, which is the person itself. Um, and some people, you know, they enjoy the macro stuff because it's, it's about the destruction and the person overwhelming masses of people, which that's not really my focus. My focus is the person and seeing like, for example, the art, the art pieces that I've gotten with Gers and some of my friends, you know, it's, it's showing an interaction on a scale that I can't interact with. So that's like kind of my focus in on it and going into the more extreme size differences like um, nano or even like some of the more microscopic that's something that I've been getting into um, unfortunately once you get down to the like atoms and bacteria scale that's that's where I start to lose focus because I can't focus on the person so yeah so you mentioned like nano and micro, and I know there's a couple of different like designations at least within the community. Um, I think you mentioned those. So I guess what are a couple of ones that people might typically see in art if they were to look up micro macro? Um, well, so there's there's obviously the size scales, right? So there's nano, micro. Um, I'm trying to remember all of them. Some places do it differently. Like there's a lot of different websites that use different size scales. Like there's uh, nano, micro, uh, doll, um, tiny, which nano is like anytime you get down to like the, um, I forget what the size scale is. Uh, it's basically anything that's below the millimeter or centimeter scale. Micro is usually sticking around the micro, like the, millimeters to centimeters somewhere in between that portion or going into the microscopic region but nano is specifically like unable to be seen without you know using some sort of scientific equipment micro is usually somewhere in between millimeters to centimeters which is where you can really start to see each other well you you would have to look closely but you could still see um and then you go into tiny, which is in anywhere in between centimeters to like uh, inches. I know I'm using different conversion scales, but you know, it's like tiny is like six inches to like, I think 0.5 inches or one inch. And then doll is in between six to 12. And then there's more that lead up to there, but I can't remember. And then you go into the macro stuff, which is like, macro giga terra and then there's there's more after that but those are the main ones that you need to focus which is macro is in between 10 feet to 100 feet giga is in between 100 to i think 3000 and then terra is 3000 to above basically terra is when you start dealing with planetary functions oh okay yeah Ah, huh, that makes sense um, so I guess with some of the art that we've seen of you and Gers, I guess you would be more on the scale of micro? Yes. So um, with most of the art pieces that are in the public, of course, it's mostly either minor size difference, which uh, a lot of people get confused and think size difference and macro micro are the same thing. They're, they're not. Size difference is like there's, there's a quantity range of like three foot to like uh, one foot difference in size. That's like size difference where macro micro is anything below or above that scale. So like within our art piece, we usually keep it to, you know, just below that different size, different scale. Sometimes we do have like just the size difference portions, but not the macro micro. Whereas most of our art pieces, macro micro, 
and which most I'm in the micro realm um, and sometimes I get into the tinier doll but most of the time it's within the micro scale. Oh okay that's really interesting I didn't know there was that much uh, differentiation between all the sizes but uh, I guess it's good that we're uh, discussing that so I, now I know. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, one of the things we also asked uh, some people who were looking at the survey is what some of the other interests that they had that might cross over into different groups were. We had some people responding like that they were into Vor, not into Vor, into Steppies, not into Steppies. Is it, would you say, common or not so common that people in the community um, have some overlap with those interests? Um, there is definitely some overlap, right? So like, for me, it's like, I'm big into paws, um, shrinking, manhandling, stuff like that. Stuff that is very interactionary focused. And some people I've seen are like into gore and gore, which those aren't really my thing, but you do you. Um, and then there's also a lot of people who just are into the domination, humiliation, BDSM aspects, which are, are like the crossovers. There's a lot of, Macro Micro to me is like, uh, just a healthy addition. Like, you like paws? Well, imagine them a hundred feet tall. Or you like vor? Imagine being lost on a tongue. You know, stuff like that. Oh, okay. That definitely makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess one of the questions, like, I, I forgot to ask in the survey, but I'm really interested to know is, where do you think most people, uh, you know, find that initial interest for that size difference? Do you think it's uh, cultural to maybe what they've seen or heard? Or where do you think some people initially get that interest you know it's hard for me to to say really because like some people get it from cartoons right like there's some of the tom and jerry episodes where um you know tom or yeah tom's the cat right yeah tom ends up getting really small in comparison to the mouse which is you know something that some people like see or some people say like oh you know i watched the movie ant-man and now i'm like into this or even you know, some of the early comic book stuff, there was a lot of old comics where they actually do that, as well as like even earlier on in America's history or even in movie and cultural history, you see stuff like Amazons and, you know, like the movies 50 Foot Giantess, which is very, very early in, into America's cinematic history. Um, you see stuff like that where they, they played within those realms. And a lot of people get it from that, but some people just get it from, oh, hey, I'm into this. Like, I'm into, you know, Moz, or I'm into uh, Humiliation, BDSM, and then they take it one step further and say, okay, I want that, but at a huge size difference. Oh, okay. Um, I guess one question I also had is, um, what are some good resources for people who might be interested, aren't sure yet, but, you know, could check out some examples of this either art wise or you know resource wise that you would definitely recommend um one thing i would say is that um definitely like obviously fur affinity is is the fandom's art source which has its good and its bads but if you go onto there and just type in macro or micro and then what you're interested in and then sort it by either relative with relativity or popularity then you'll start to look and notice like, okay, well, I like this. You click on it and then there's all the tags that come from it. Like within the macro micro community, there's all different kinds of things like size tiering, which is basically um, like one person's really small and then one person is basically like double or triple their height. And then there's somebody above that person that's double or triple that second person's height and it keeps going up. That's, there's a bunch of different like tags like that within the macro micro community that that kind of separate it. So if you're like, okay, well, I like vor, and you go and you click, you you type in macro micro vor on for affinity or uh, what is that? So furry, I think is the art page. There's a lot of stuff on there as well. Um, and you go into there and you say, okay. I like this and you look into the tags and then you can sort through the tags to find out what you like more about it. Okay, I think that's definitely, I mean, I guess for Finney is kind of our encyclopedia of art at this point for the community. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess like just a couple like 
final questions I had is, you know, what would be some advice to the English? What would be some advice you might have for someone who's just getting started in the microbacter community and, you know, might need a little bit of encouragement or even some support in embracing what they're interested in? Um, my biggest thing is, uh, you know, I came from the part of like feeling ashamed for what I enjoy, which I've been very lucky to have friends and, you know, even my you know, girlfriend to help me and push me towards feeling more comfortable about myself. If you feel like as if you're uncomfortable or, you know, you feel like as if you're worried about it. My biggest thing is, is that you need to focus on yourself. You need to learn more about yourself. If you feel like as if you're interested in it, go find out. You know, what's the harm of finding out more about yourself? That's one of the biggest things that I've been telling other people who are like, yeah, well, I'm interested in this, but you know, I feel like my partner might not feel as the same way. Well, that's okay. Your partner doesn't have to be into whatever you're into. Your friends don't either. You need to focus on yourself and figure out what you like so that way you can start making additions into your life or making different parts of your life better by adding in things that you know you enjoy or you want to experiment with. Um, it doesn't hurt to go out and try. It doesn't hurt to find more about yourself. And that's something that I wish I had known earlier on, but now you know I'm learning it and I'm more than willing to share that information. Absolutely. Alright, I think that's all the questions I had. Do you have any questions for me or anything you wanted to say to anyone who might be watching this? Uh, should be coming out pretty soon. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I would like just to add on, um, there's a lot of stuff within the Macro Micro community that's, you know, coming out. There's a lot of different games. Um, if you're in the Macro Micro community and you want to find out more um, about the gaming aspect, uh, there's Neos VR, which has just came out, um, and it's made by furry developers, and they basically allow you to scale your size to whatever you want and have interactions with other people on a big medium, as well as, you know, just the social aspect of the game. And then there's also stuff like Sizebox and, um, what's that other one? There was another furry made game and I'm struggling to remember it at this moment, but um, if you go on YouTube and just type in macro furry, you can find different stuff. Um, I, oh, it's furry sandbox. Furry giant, giant furry sandbox. That's what it is. Um, and all that kind of stuff is open access, so you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to, you know, do anything really other than download the game and try it out. So if you want to try out that kind of stuff, there's a lot of different stuff. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Hopefully... Uh, this was a good interview, and I think this is the first time we've ever collabed. And he wasn't the only one! Here are some responses to some other questions we asked about the community and what people were into. about on this channel. Typically, it's just about being big or small. There's nothing inherently crazy about that, but what sometimes comes into play is other sides of, the, of this interest that can get a little bit more interesting, like Vor or Steppies. What the hell are Vor and Steppies? Gotta wait for the damn sirens. Ah, sounds of New York ruining every video since I've ever started. Mm -hmm. Love it.
Any day now, you want to stop sirening. <sighs> Between my cat and the sirens, it's a, it's a miracle I get anything done here. So, as you might have guessed, steppies refer to stepping on people, i.e. like getting stepped on. Now, that's not to say everyone who's into the idea of steppies is necessarily a micro or a macro, but a lot of people in the community do find that a, uh, a nice add-on to their interest. They might like being a micro and getting stepped on, or they might just like getting stepped on. I don't know. Live your life. Similarly with Vor, it's the idea of getting eaten by someone or something else. It's not my thing, but for some people it's their thing. And typically you see this with micros enjoying the idea of a macro eating them, or macros enjoying the idea of eating a micro. Like I said, it's not my thing, but it's interesting. Now that's not to say everybody who's into moths is necessarily into vor. Take me, for example. I think moths are hecking cool. I love the way, like, big, snarly teeth look. But the idea of eating someone to me is not something I'm super into. Similarly, you could be very, very into paws and not really like the idea of steppies. You know, not everybody wants to squish you if they're into paws or get squished. It's kind of a, you need to ask if they're into that kind of thing. However, we did find quite a few people that responded to this survey and were either micros or macros, did have a very big interest in vor and steppies. It wasn't an overwhelming majority, but it was a fair chunk of you. Now, the not safe for work side. Let's, let's look at that. So how does that really translate into being big or small? Well, the idea of having that big, strong, protecting macro person to pick you up or squish you or eat you, I guess, is like their thing. I don't know. Everybody's got their own way of enjoying the fandom. For some people, that's it. Now, it might seem a little bizarre to some of us that maybe aren't into it, but, you know, different strokes for different folks. Or I guess in this case, steppies for micros and vor and stuff. It's interesting. Not my thing, but definitely interesting. What was really awesome about this group of respondents is a lot of you had quite a bit to say. So what did you guys think? Is micro macro for you? Do you like being big? Do you like being smaller? You just kind of find it interesting. For me, I just kind of find it interesting. But did you have any questions that weren't answered in this episode? Feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this was fun and informative and uh, safe stepping everyone. And remember to floss your teeth before you bore.